I think it's important that this decision uh, by Secretary Brock Adams be fully understood and uh, comprehended by not only uh, the principals involved, but by the people of the area. I think the, the, the thrust of this decision is to um, support the national policy of, of urban conservation, that is conserving what we have in our urban areas, rather than uh, building new uh, infrastructures to uh, serve the needs of people. It is not official disapproval of the highway since it's not yet up for formal consideration by federal highway officials. Despite that, Marsh said the action wasn't premature, and Adams' aide called it not routine. The eastern route the commission approved at a cost of about $282 million would connect Interstate 64 east of Richmond with Interstate 95 south of Petersburg. City officials see it as a possible circumferential highway connection. Regional cooperation with the counties hasn't been ruled out, Marsh says, but the talks haven't yet yielded enough of a compromise for the city to drop its opposition. Marsh wants the State Highway Department to take another look at the project, and Adams is also pushing for a local solution. Marsh was careful to point out that while Adams' position is encouraging, it doesn't necessarily mean the I-95 project will be killed. It shows similar concerns, he said, but an environmental impact study has to be done before the U.S. Department of Transportation is called on to make a decision. According to one state highway commissioner, Adams' position was shared with the commission before it made its decision on the eastern route. But as he indicated, that state agency is an autonomous body authorized to make its own decisions. Diane Frieda, WTBR News at City Hall.